Hey everyone, it's Gotta Know. I have everything laid out that I put in my backpack. I run a base weight of about 17 pounds and I want to know what I have to remove to become an ultralight backpacker. Let's go check it out. Of course, I'd be able to keep my pack and my liner. I'd be able to keep my quilt and my pad and my Hyperlight Mountain Gear stuff pillow, but I would not be able to keep a quilt liner. It's going in the bucket. I would not be able to keep my tent toilet. It'd have to go in the bucket. I would be able to keep my tent and the stakes, but I would not be able to keep a footprint. It has to go in the bucket. I would be able to keep my first aid kit as is, and I would keep my Swiss Army knife card that has my scissors and my and, and my tweezers and stuff. I'd be able to keep it. I would keep the Ursac with the Opsac, but I'd have to learn another tie so that it does not require a carabiner. So the carabiner is going in the bucket. As far as my cook system, I would be able to keep my pot along with a lighter and matches and my spoon and my stove, but I'd have to get rid of my cup, my stuff sack, my bandana, and it would require me to get rid of my cook pocket. As far as filtration system and, and water bottles, I'd be able to keep my Katadyne and carry two smart water bottles. When it came to electronics, I would not be able to carry 20,000 20, milliamps. I'd have to go smaller. So I'd go to a 10,000 milliamp. I would be able to keep my inReach, my headlamp. Of course, you'd have to have charging cord. Wouldn't be able to keep your earphones. I'd keep my phone, pretend my phone's in there. As far as clothes, I would keep my puffy and my hat. No sleep socks, but I would be able to keep my base layer. I would only be able to use the darn tough socks without a liner. There would be no extra bra, no extra panties, no extra shirt, no shorts. They'd go in the bucket. I would be able to keep my rain gear, but I would have to give up my camp shoes. My bucket's getting full. This is the extra stuff that I carry. There would be no camp chair. I would keep a gallon size bag for my Diddy bag. I'd keep my glasses and my contacts and I'd have to have a mirror. No extra bandana. I would, no extra cap for my Katadyne Be Free. I can't keep my toothpaste and my toothbrush. No duct tape. I can use the hand sanitizer and chapstick. No bug spray. No gar extra garbage bags. This is a, a garbage bag that I use to cover my Ursac for the rain. No rain cover for my Ursac. I would carry a repair kit, but all of these things that I use to, to feel good and keep clean, no can have, no brush, no washcloth, no wipes, no bronner soap, no extra gallon size baggie. I would be able to keep my wallet, no sunglasses, no bear horn, no pump for my pad or a lantern to, to be used. I'm not gonna be able to keep my paracord, so I'll leave you in the ditch. No lotion, no extra carabiner. And for my toilet, I'd have to get rid of my toilet paper, go to a bidet, yuck. I'd have a trowel and I'd be able to keep my cooler cloth. This 
as everything I have to get rid of to become an ultralight backpacker. I will weigh it and let you know how much this weighs. So everything totaled up to about six pounds. And by going ultralight, I can get a different backpack and reduce its weight by probably another pound from 2.9 down to something. So I could reduce everything by about seven pounds and that would give me my 10 pound base weight. Well, there it is, a big old bucket of stuff. Don't know if I'll do it. I'll think about it. I like my creature comforts. But if this was helpful to you, come on, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you next time.